ball plays the body and gets in the way. Maple Leafs come back now two on one. This is Sittler on the left wing goes to Williams. Williams shot and it goes wide on the short side. Tiger Williams 22 setting up 20 seconds remaining on the power play feeds back to Sittler 27. Sittler now being chased by Hart. He holds goes back to the point Ian Turnbull through a partial screen high drive. It's deflected in front. Nobody didn't see it. Now Turnbull again will wind up. He shoots. Dropped up the defense by Jerry Hart. Big break for the Islanders. They were very fortunate. Then. They looked like they had a good break, and they were caught in a two-on-one. Potman out of the box. All even five aside in front of our goaltenders. Puck moves to center on the Islander right wing. Collecting there at the line is Jerry Hart. Number two trying to head man in front to Trotje. Too far a pass. Maple Leafs now trying to break out. They poke it back in. Teddy Potfan just out of the penalty box feeds up to Captain Clark Gillies. Looks like he wants to ice it along the boards. He does, along with Trotje, to force the face off. Game comedy from the Nassau Coliseum. 17 24 remaining. No score, Auditors and Toronto. Big Clark Gillies, the Islander captain. He hasn't had his uh, real turn yet. Frank, it was very interesting on that power play. Lorne Henning did an excellent job of corralling that puck behind the Leaf net, and then all of a sudden the Leafs busted out in a two-on-one break, and they nearly had the first goal of the game. Trotche, Bossy, and Gillies out there now. Stephen Pearson on defense with Denny Potvin. Mark Gillies trying to get a handle on it behind the net. This is Jones now. Feeds it up ahead to Thompson. Thompson on the left wing takes the drive from 65 wide of the short side, and it gets caught up up on the meshing. And we'll have a face-off. And it should come outside the New York Islander blue line. It will. In the NHL tonight, Philadelphia at Boston. Very important game for Philadelphia and for the New York Islanders. Colorado at Washington, Minnesota at St. Louis. Cleveland will be out on the West Coast against Los Angeles. Brian Trotche with 100 points. Two points ahead of Guy Lafleur. Frank, it's interesting, uh, the Leafs using the Ron Ellis line against the Big Island, the line Ellis going up against Gillies. Denny Potvin loses an edge in his own zone and uh, kind of covered up on the puck and forced the face off just inside the New York Islander blue line. Jones at center, working with Tiger Williams on the left wing for Toronto on the right side, as Stan mentioned, Ron Ellis. A look at Al Arbor there behind the Islander bench. Appears to be another full house here at the Coliseum. Finally, uh, Trotje skates it out of a pack to Potvin, and a one-off Trotje skate deep in the zone. Pearson, number seven, the Swede, the rookie. Working on the left wing boards, Denny Potvin, long pass, and center for Bossy, intercepted by Williams. He clears in. 16-30 remaining in the first period, still no score. Here at the Nassau Coliseum. Denny Potvin now. Checked closely by Jones, number 16. Borja Salmon gets a stick on it. And finally, Maple Leafs will try and come out as they move to center ice in the right wing. Borja Salmon, defenseman, trying to put the move on Gillies. He does, but he's filled on the play. Denny Potvin for the Islanders will take over. The four checker for Toronto, Jimmy Jones, number 16, right in front of Glenn Rush. Crowd getting a little restless. Long pass off the stick of Trotsche. It rolls in on Palmatier, cutting him with a save. Ellis can't control. It comes back to Hark at the center right zone. Two line pass offside as Gillies made the touch. The pass had originated from behind the New York blue line. Frank, what the Leafs are trying to do is slow down Brian Trotsche, and the guy who's been assigned the task is number 22, Tiger Williams. He's been charging at Trotsche by the same token. Clark Gillies has been uh, running at Boya Saming. He messed him up a little bit on the right side. No penalty call. It could have been two minutes for tripping against Gillies. Jude Druin, Bobby Nystrom, and Bobby Bourne, the front line for the New York Islanders on defense. Pat Price and Jerry Hart. Stan Weir will take the draw against Jude Druin, number 14. And he works with Jerry Butler, number 17, on the right side, Ferguson. Check that. Pat Boutet on the left wing for Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto controls. This is another Swede Johansson number four shooting in for Toronto. Pat Price. 
Tries to feather a pass over to Zhu Jun. is behind him, but it comes back to him at center ice. He clears in cross ice in the left wing corner. Bourne is held up partially. No call on the play. Puck goes to the turn of the boards, and Bourne just can't get a stick flush on the ice. Puck keeps it in. Try to feed it through on the wing. Some body contact there by Toronto. And the rubber comes to Jerry Hart, who goes cross ice into the Toronto zone. Jerry Butler doing a number on Bob Bourne. Bourne, uh, heavy body work right there on Boutet. This is Hart, number two. Hart up to Nystrom on the right wing. He will clear in. Bombardier stops behind the net. Johansson takes a crunch from Bobby Nystrom. And finally, Jones has to clear. Toronto will clear much of the evening. That's their style of play. The icing call against Toronto. Game coming from the Nassau Coliseum. We've got 14-43 remaining. First period, no score. New York and Toronto. Faceoff will be on the New York Islander left wing to the right side of Toronto goalie Mike Palmatier. There's Pat Price and Jude Druin talking things over on the New York bench. Well, you can uh, pick out a spot just to the right behind the net where Bob Nystrom mails more opponents than any other spot in the rink. And what a crunch. When he's hitting, the Islanders are usually winning. And I'll tell you, when he hits too, when Nystrom plays the body, he seems to be effective offensively in terms of scoring goals. Play jammed up at the Toronto line. Lewis comes out of a pack with it. This is Howitt trying to feed in low to Merrick. And finally, Palmatier will cover up the loose puck. Not only that, they got a lead penalty out of the deal, and uh, this is the first eye on the power play. Uh, Gary Howitt look. doing some nice work here, getting the play in motion. Merrick is moving toward the net. Uh, you notice Sami, he does a number there on Merrick, and uh, finally, Palmatier is nutty. New York Islander power play. They send out Pache, Gillies, and Basse at the Blue Lions, Pearson, and Denny Potvin. Islanders have four of the top ten scorers in the NHL. Three of them, four of them out there right now. Pache, Gillies, Basse, followed by Denny Potvin, the leading scorer in the defensive category. Hot fan keeps it in high in the slot goes to Gillies angle drive it's blocked in front by the Toronto defense finally cleared in on rush. Denny pot fan to set things straight now for the Islanders on this power play advantage for you selling sitting out a couple of minutes for Toronto. Headed up to Gillies in the middle it's center ice. He fires in. Trache there beaten to the puck by a Maple Leaf Ian Turnbull down. Clears out on the penalty kill. Good play by Turnbull. He used his right skate as balance on that and uh, guarded the puck. Watch number 16, Jimmy Jones. He's a young player, but a very effective penalty killer. Still no score. 13-45 remaining in the first period. Pearson shoots in on the Islander power play. Loose puck out in front. Finally kicked into the corner. Trache keeps it in along the boards to Denny. Denny goes high. Now to Pearson. Pearson works to Bossy, the rookie, trying to snap it through to Denny. Puck into the give and go. Can't do it. Loose puck bouncing in the slot. Finally cleared away again by Ian Turnbull, but not out. Potvin keeps it in. Potvin knocks it down. Still a scramble in front. And Turnbull will shoot it out for Maple Leafs. Oh, the comedy of errors by both teams, but the Islanders couldn't capitalize. Gary Howard just stepping on the ice now. Leads the out of the rush on the power play. 48 seconds remaining. Howard will go into the penalty box. Crutchy was held by Turnbull. No call. Finally, play comes to center. Here's Crutchy. Willie really now with 25 in the power play. Denny Potvin coming in on Palmatier. Crutchy too far. Stefan Pearson. Bossy drive, and it's just deflected by Potvin. Crutchay falls down. Still a power play. Ten seconds remaining. Crutchay works to Pearson. Pearson drive, and it's deflected in front by the Toronto defense. Good job by Ian Turnbull on that power play killing situation for Toronto. Well, Dennis Potvin was too generous. He had a good chance there. He fed Crutchay, and he fooled Brian on the right side, and that blew the chance. Penalty is over. Our first look at number 11, Wayne Merrick. Puts the brakes on high in the zone. His pass is steered away. Coming out now, number 20, Mike Pellick. He'll come in 
takes the off, off angle short side drive. Taking no chances, Chico Resch. You gotta wonder what Brian Trotje was thinking on that two on nothing break, Frank. It was a fantastic opportunity. Dennis Potvin making that play, and it looked. Here's Dennis. Now watch. He's got the chance to pass off the right or shoot. He makes the pass, but Brian seemed to be caught unaware. The pass was a little behind him. That may have tripped him up a little bit. And also, I think Brian might have been a little bit too deep on the angle. Had he got control, he may not have had much to shoot at. Merrick, along with Daryl Sittler, Merrick is thrown out. Billy Harris will have to take the drop. Heinzman Ray Scapagnello to drop the rubber. 12 10 remaining first period. Frank Daly with Stan Fischler. Heart controls for New York number two. Riley Merrick regains control along the boards. Feeds it deep to Hart. Back to Mer uh, Price. Up along the boards. Harris is checked by Pellet. Good forechecking here by Toronto. Anadu's hemmed in in the wrong zone. Hart mishandles the clock. He takes a hit from McDonald. Sittler is there. Only coming up with it is Wayne Merrick. Merrick now trying to go rink wide. Chopped down by Harris. Harris coming two on two left wing. He's got Howard with him. The trailer is Merrick. Broken up at the Toronto line by Lanny McDonald. So for a brief instant there. Pressure for checking from Toronto. The icing is waved off. Jerry Hart, number two for the New York Islanders, will lead it off to Merrick. Merrick now makes the rush to the center ice zone. Deflects it off the center ice boards. But the two-line offside is called as Harris was in ahead of the play. With have got 11.20 remaining here at the Nassau Coliseum. No score, New York Islanders and Toronto Maple Leafs. Face off just inside the New York Islander blue line. Toronto will change up in mass. And there's a look at Roger Nielsen, Toronto Maple Leaf coach, his first year behind Maple Leaf bench. The former high school teacher who was really doing a pretty good instructing job with the Maple Leafs. The complaint with Red Kelly, the former coach, was that there was no communication with the Toronto players. Nielsen's much better at it, and he also does a lot of terrific scouting when the team's not playing as his own videotape machine. Johansson feeds the center. Maple Leafs clear it in. Jerry Hart, number two. Mike Kaziki now. Moves to center ice. On the left wing, Hitman's to heading. He taps it in deep. Thompson and Westfall collide at the turn of the boards. Stan Weir is there as well. Mike Pollock, number two, trying to control. Heading shoots the save by Pomitil. The rebound shot wide. Pressure by the New York Islanders. Back comes Toronto now. This is Stan Weir in the middle. Players jam up. No offside call. I thought I saw one. This is Westfall back checking all the way for the Islanders. Leaves it for Pat Price. Price releases back to Hart this side with his funny room in the middle. Kaziki 21 to Henning. Henning off to Westfall. Taps it in. Ian Turnbull, number two for Toronto. Skates back deep in his own zone. Rhymes it around the glass. And it comes up past the stick of Druin. Jerry Hart over to collect in front of Errol Thompson. The fast skating left wing for Toronto. Centering pass to Ted Payne on the centering play. Back comes Drew Druin. Two on two. He's got Westfall on the right wing. Drop to Westfall. Westfall takes a hit from Boutet. Back comes Stan Weir to center ice for Toronto. Two on two. Thompson with him now. Thompson the trailer. Pinched off in the play. Thompson controls. Centering pass to Ellis. Too deep. Ellis controls now. Looking for the centering play in front of Weir. Can't hit him. Back comes Nystrom. Two on two. Nystrom will shoot it in for New York Islanders. Down to 9.43. Amateur handles behind the net. Up it comes. To Boudreau. A good move. with a good body check and then he takes the shot he might have passed it to Nystrom Nystrom was tied up that Bourne could pass here but he goes for that dribble over to the right side puts it on his backhand and lifts it past Palmatier a good fake by Bourne unassisted at 10:28.
Coming down to nine minutes and ten seconds remaining. Here in the first period, Islanders going ahead on the goal by Bobby Bourne. We're settling out of the score by Ellis. Bang, bang. A terrible giveaway by the Islanders. They were lucky the first time, but they weren't the lucky the second time. Glenn Rush out of the play, couldn't get back in time, and the Maple Leafs made the most of it. Very poor. The Islanders' defense has not been playing well this first period, and here's an example. Now, Rush doesn't hold on to the puck. He comes out, he tries to tame it. He gets a piece of it, but he doesn't get it very far. And as the original shot, Rush trying to get back into play, he can't. Veteran Ellis. Woodrow shooting in on the save made by Chico Rush. Right off the faceoff. So we're tied at 1 8 48 remaining in the first period. Ferguson and Boutet get credit for the assists on the goal by Ron Ellis. Rest shaking his head, Frank. He knows he blew it. Clark Gillies, the captain, comes over. He gives him a tap on the pad. The Islander defense has been having trouble all period. Valaket had the puck only five feet in front of the net a few seconds earlier, and he just couldn't put it in. It was a bad shot, but no Islander defenseman around. Face off left side of Chico Rush. Ryan Trache along with Clark Gillies and Mike Bussey. Up front for Al Arbor, Daryl Sittler, Tiger Williams, and Lanny McDonald set for the draw. Sittler gets a stick on it. McDonald can't control it, rolls back into the Toronto zone. Pellick now trying to feed Bussey and it's up on the right wing. And back comes Toronto. Rink wide a little too far for Daryl Sittler. The puck rolls back into the New York Islanders zone. Sittler, the four checker. We've got an icing on the call as the puck was shot from behind the red line. 8.30 remaining in the first period. Our score, the Islanders won. Maple Leafs won. will take the drawer against Daryl Sittler. Puck bad snapshot of the save by Palmatier. The rebound clears into the corner. This is two. Mike Pellick tipped by Sittler back into the New York zone. Dave Lewis chases it down. McDonald, the checker, close to Dave Lewis. Rides him off the puck, but Denny Potvan back to cover up number five. Trying to head man up to Gillies. Intercepted at center ice by Toronto. And the rubber comes back into the Toronto zone. Quick shot taken from the right wing by Lana McDonald. It's wide off to Mark Sittler from the point. Blocked in front. Back comes Crutchy, number 19. Full of center ice. And the crowd looking for the call. There will be no call. Lewis shoots it in for the New York Islanders. Chasing it down. Tiger Williams, number 22. He wheels. Picks up big speed now. Moves to the neutral zone. Comes to the near side. Trying to tap it around. Dave uh, Lewis. Lewis plays the body. And the loose puck comes behind the net. Eddie Potvin. Too far for Merrick. He can't control it. The New York Islander blue line. It rolls back into the Toronto zone. Merrick in there to give some problems to Lanny McDonald. Finally, McDonald clears it up. Coming right back now. This is Ian Turnbull, number two. Two on two. Poked away by Stefan Pearson. Back from the Islanders, 15. Long drive taken in there by Billy Harris. Is just tipped wide by Pommetier. This is Thompson working one on one, trying to swing by Stefan Pearson. A great. Defensive poke check in there by the Swede, the rookie, number seven. Rinkwad, it comes to Harris. Harris moving on the right wing, trying to feed Merrick. He does. Merrick centering pass, deflected high in the slot. Hart comes in, trying to keep it in. Jones falls down. Hart pokes at it, keeps it in. Oya Selming, 21. Up to Thompson. Thompson at his own line. Feeds it ahead to Ferguson. Long drive, and the save is made by Rex. Howard at the turn of the boards in the zone zone. Jones, the quick shot on the right pad, saved by Chico Resch. He had to be alert on that one. Huck comes to Howard. He can't collect out of his own skates. Releases instead back to Hart at his own zone. Releasing right side now. Stefan Pearson, number seven. Wayne Merrick, number 11 for the Islanders. will clear it in with 6.25 remaining. We're tied at one Islanders and Maple Leafs. Pass too far, intended for Ferguson. Lewis intercepts at the center ice zone with Merrick. Now it goes to Howard trying to feed through traffic. Can't do it. Ridden out the puck. Back come Maple Leafs. Stan Weir, number 14, looks right at Dave Lewis at the line, trying to feed in the middle of Thompson. Intercepted by Potvin. Howard now trying to go rink wide. Nystrom can't control the bouncing puck. Maple Leafs clear back to center, but there is Denny Potvin to Lewis. Bruin trying to break in. He's held up at the Toronto line by Boya Selming. Finally, the rubber goes in. 
And Maple Leafs will try and break out. Missed pass at center. Headman too far. It'll be an icing if Dave Lewis does get there in time. He does. We're going to break in the action. Five quarter remaining in the first period. New York one, Toronto one. Right, so far, the Maple Leafs have done a good job of checking the Trottier Bossy Gillies line. Tiger Williams, number 22 on the Leafs, is really working over Brian Trottier. He's laying that lumber on at every opportunity. And uh, except for a couple of calls, Ron Wick seems to be letting the players carry the sticks high. Not many uh, real serious infractions, but he could have called a few more penalties. Drew and Nystrom and Moore in the front line. Toronto wins the draw. And they come back on their rush. Chet flips it in. Dave Lewis now behind his own net. Quickly in the middle behind Druin. And the puck will roll to the Toronto zone with 525 remaining. Ian Turnbull number two. And that's called icing. They say that Turnbull could not have got to it in time. So the faceoff back into the New York zone. Talking about Mike Boss, he's got to be one of the fellows that the Leafs are going to zero in on, Frank. Uh, not only is he the leader in the Rookie of the Year award, but he's now got a 13-game consecutive point scoring streak going along with Daryl Sittler of the Leafs. He leads the NHL in goal scoring with 45, and he could be the first rookie since 1925-26 to lead, lead the league in goal scoring. Mel Stewart did it then with 34 goals in 36 games. I tell you, Stan, that's a lot of activity for a rookie, Mike Fossey. Dan Weir and Westfall on the draw. Lewis gets it out of the corner. Weir 14, the persistent four checker there. Bourne can't control. The miscue out in front, controlled by Leafs. Boutet falls down. Bruin in the corner. Penalty coming up on New York Islanders. As soon as they regain possession, there's the whistle. And the penalty will be on New York. Bob Bourne knew it, but uh, the problem came with Dennis Potman trying to clear that bad island to pass. He used his stick. He probably would have been better off if he had just slid into the puck and uh, carried it toward the blue line. Number 14, Bobby Bourne, the penalty officially now coming at 14.57. They call it a hook. And now we'll get another look at that Toronto power play. We've had three penalties in the first period. One to Toronto and two to the New York Islanders. Harold Ballard of Toronto Maple Leafs will be Stan Fischler's very special between period guests coming up. After five minutes and nine seconds of action have expired here at the Coliseum. Quickly off the faceoff, we look for Lewis now, has trouble controlling. Finally, Westfall gets it and golfs it out. Darrell Sittler will work with Tiger Williams and Lanny McDonald, who's hanging right up in the blue line right now. Lay comes into the New York zone as McDonald makes the touch. That's an automatic offside. Minute 41 remaining on the penalty to Bobby Bourne. Killing off penalties for the Islanders, of course. Henning and Westfall, Denny Potvin, and Dave Lewis back on the blue line. Playing the points on the Toronto power play, Ian Turnbull and Boya Selman. Frank, up until now, Henning and Westfall have been checking the Maple Leafs pretty well in their own zone, forcing the Maple Leafs to make bad passes, as we just saw. That was a terrible pass, but you got to keep your eye on number seven, McDonald. He's got a good shot as well as Sittler. Number Quickly off the faceoff, the puck rolls on the right wing. Lanny McDonald now brings it into the zone. Holes on the right side of the board. Puck takes a bouncy uh, off the side of the butt. Another oh, inch. That would have faked out Resch. Uh, luckily, Dennis Potvin got a skate on it and cleared it to the side. Took a funny carom off the turn of the boards. Boy, you're sounding 21. Slides it right between the circles. Very slowly and deliberately now. Works it to the neutral zone, clears it in just wide. Chico Rest chasing it down as Tiger Williams Pearson beats him to the puck. And he shoots it over the glass behind the Islander bench. Stephen Pearson tried to put the puck right on the heel of his stick to get a little leverage and lift it down the ice. He did not want to throw it into the crowd because he knew that would be a face-off in the Islander zone, but he had no choice. He had a bad angle, and it did go in the crowd, face-off in deep Islander zone. Still 110 left on the Toronto power play. Darrell Sittler working with Lanham on the left side on the power play. And on the right side, number eight, Pat Poutet. Finally cleared out by New York. A minute even. Remaining now on that penalty to the Islanders, Bobby Bourne. So uh, Toronto really has uh, been hardly effective on this power play opportunity. Westfall now harassing Ian Turnbull. Does the job, steals the puck. Henning moves in against Boya Selming. 
Finally, Landon McDonald, number seven, comes over to help out deep in his own zone. Goes to Boutet on the left wing, the drop pass back at center ice. Lanny McDonald now with Sittler gets the drop pass right at the blue line, trying to penetrate, harassed by Henning. Henning steals it. Salmon gets it back, left side. Turnbull shooting and the save by a rush in a crowd right out in front. That was a big crowd there. Looked like Lanny McDonald might get a piece of rush, and Jack Valaket was roaming around there. Rush had to have good radar on this one. Notice Salming moves that puck into, <coughs> into play for starters. Now here's the save by Resch. Valaket eight. Lanny McDonald seven. They're trying to shake it loose before the whistle, but they don't. 30 seconds on the penalty. Face off Toronto. Left wing, Islander zone. Quickly the puck caroms to the near wing, and Henning lines it up and fires out. So Toronto uh, has not been very effective on their two power play opportunities here tonight. They seem to be standing around. Or you Salming, the Swede now, will try and penetrate on Lewis. Holds right along the side of the boards. McDonald down. Solman. Islanders set up their box defense. On the left wing, Turnbull trying to slide it through and rush. Bouncing puck cleared away by Chico as Horn and uh, Boya Selling collide just in front of the blue line. Penalty, Penalty is, is over. over. Back comes Toronto. Lanny McDonald, high power at right wing. Wrapped up by Brian Tuche. And he puck then takes over. The long headman pass. Puck Gilly streaking on the left wing. Settler chasing him. Gilly shooting and it's deflected just in front. Cleared away by Toronto Maple Leafs. Two Islanders are spilled. Gillies and Trache back come Toronto. Tiger Williams on the left wing. The poke check is made by Denny Cutfan. He rides him into the turn of the boards. Lanny McDonald is there. Seven trying to kick it loose. Finally does, but not before the whistle is blown. Frank Glenrush doesn't look all that sharp in the aisle tonight. He's making mistakes. A little bit too much juggling of the puck. Not controlling the rebounds. Take a look here. Instead of smothering the puck, Rush gives it away. He almost gave it away to Valaket, and the Islanders got a break. They finally did clear the puck, but Rush does not seem in control the way he usually does. Jones to take the face off against Brian Trotche to the right side of Chico. Quick shot taken, deflected out by Tiger Williams. Kind of surprised that Coach Al Arbor is using Rush tonight, Frank. Uh, I would have thought he might have gone over to Billy Smith. Rush has been playing a lot of hockey. Not that he's playing badly. He's got an awfully good record. 2.41 goals against, 18 wins, 7 losses, and 4 ties. But uh, we haven't seen that much of Smith lately. Trotche and Jones, 19 and 16 respectively. By the uh, price controls for the Islanders. This is Jerry Hart, number two, the four checker. Jimmy Jones, 16, deals it over to Price on the far wing. Trying to get it to Trotche, kept in by 24, Brian, Brian Clenny. Big Pat Price, number three. Works to 19, Trotche, bouncing puck, finally cuffs it off the boards and gives it over this side to Hart, who makes the rush to the neutral zone. Shoots it in wide of Palmatier, just tipped right on the stick of Tiger Williams. Trotche nails Williams. Kept in by Pat Price, and we get a whistle at the turn of the boards. Well, for a change, Tiger Williams is on the receiving end. That's Brian Trotche, who has been taking quite a beating from Williams earlier. Trotche loses his helmet in the process. Gillies comes in and helps out a little bit. Brian uh, knows Williams way back from Western Canada Junior Hockey League, and uh, they like to belt each other. Right now, Trotche is a little more interested in scoring than belting. Minute 51 remaining in the period. Frank Daly with Stan Fischler. We're tied at one Islanders and Maple Leafs here at the Nassau Coliseum. Trotche and Daryl Sittler. Sittler number three in the league scoring just behind Guy Lafleur. Brian Glenny, veteran defenseman number 24. He also can play up front when needed. Tip to center ice by Maple Leafs. Hart takes over. He looks like he wants to penetrate. They call the Islanders on the offside, just about a half stride ahead on the right wing, Clark Gillies. Frank talking about goaltending, uh, Mike Palmatier in the nets for the Leafs. He's been a remarkable uh, rookie last year. He came up in the middle of the season when the Leafs were in trouble, and he really stood the le uh, league on its ears. Boston and Philly, nothing, nothing. Uh, that's a game that we got to keep our eyes on. The Bruins 
needing a win they want to stay in first place and of course the Flyers right behind the Islanders if the uh, Flyers lose tonight against Boston that game is up at the Garden in Boston Flyers will have a seven point uh, or Islanders will be ahead by seven if they win and Islanders lose here there will only be three points between Flyers and the New York Islanders playback on Pat Price in his own end off to hearts number two steady game after game pass is tipped into the Toronto zone by Basse Gillies chases it down wrapped up by Ron Ellis no call the puck is frozen up now all the Islanders got out of that was a long look by Ron Wicks the referee he stuck his neck out trying to size this play up now Ellis does a little bit of grabbing there but as I said Wicks has been lenient on both teams and you could flip a coin on that when you surely could have called it for holding Wicks looked hard he didn't call anything Maple Leafs will change up with a minute 13 remaining. The faceoff will be on the New York left wing, Toronto zone. Right side of goaltender Mike Palmatier. Wayne Merrick, Howitz, Billy Harris. The forward line quickly back to Lewis it goes. Denny Potvan in between the circle. The save by Palmatier. Beautiful right handed grab. Good radar on that one. He might have been beaten on the left corner. Well, you saw 21 tries to carry I out. Can't can't play play. Tops at it. Finally, the disc rolls to center ice. Lewis there on the offside. Shoots it in. If Harris makes the touch, it'll be offside. It's finally cleared to center. Hard hit by Howard against Boya Selling. Or rather, Jones. Here goes Jones and Howard. Butler, former Ranger, they don't call him Bugsy for nothing. He likes to throw him. So does Howard and look for a second light. They might not. Then they decided to go and a couple of good shots in there. Not too many. Broken up in a hurry. Butler looked like uh, he didn't want any piece of Howard and then figured, oh, what the heck? I got to do it, I guess. Watch and him Howard look away. He has to come in high because Butler is a couple of inches taller than him and uh, still. Finally, he says, what the heck? Well, that's what started it. That's a, a left by Howard, and then they go right there, and Butler gets one in, and he, he doesn't have the angle. Howard has two uppercuts coming. A lot of dandruff flying in that one, Frank. <laughs> little spark plug for the Islanders. Gary Howard out five for fighting. Butler five for fighting. But each team uh, playing at full strength. Lewis taps it too far for Potvin. Westfall is over there to carry him away from Tiger Williams. Puck squeezes into the Toronto zone. 21 boy is sounding now with 30 seconds behind Palmatier. The four checker is Merrick. Lenny now shoots it up to Williams along the boards at his own line. Smothered by Merrick. Westfall is there to force the face off. The Leafs got Jerry Butler for one reason, Frank. They're not a hitting team. They've got Tiger Williams, and after that, not much in the way of belters. And Jerry Butler is the kind of guy who can do the belting. They gave up a, a dipsy doodler and Inga Hammerstrom for Butler, and I don't think they're sorry about it. This is the Swedes 21 Borja Selmy. Moves to the right wing at center, goes cross ice on the backhand flip into the New York end. Eddie Westfall with a stick on it up along the boards to Denny Putvan. Looks cross ice. Instead, he gives to Merrick. Merrick didn't see the pass. Got an icing call with five seconds remaining against New York. In case the linesman didn't see that icing, Mike Palmatier, the, the little league goalie, raised his goal stick about four feet over his head, signaling the linesman. And of course, the whistle was blown. The Leafs still have a chance for a shot on goal. All they have to do is get that face off, put it in uh, shooting position. They've got a couple of good shooters out there. They got Somming and Turnbull on the points, and both of them can fire that puck. And, up front, it's uh, Sittler's going to take the face off, and they got Williams out there, and number 26, Kurt Walker, is there to disrupt the, the island of defense. Kurt Walker, 26, from the greater Boston area. He's the only American on this Maple Leaf club. One of the few they have employed over the years. Denny Potvin now at the buzzer. So at the end of one period of play,
Sunny Earth and Outsaw Coliseum, the Islanders and Maple Leafs are tied at one. Working up to center ice, Brian Glenny rolls it in on Chico Rush. They stop it. Lewis, the Park Gillies, pinned at the turn of the boards by Lana McDonald, number seven. And the faceoff will be in the Islander zone. That'll be the Toronto right wing. Frank, the Islanders did not have a good first period. It was sort of reminiscent of the game against the Blackhawks on Saturday. And we'll see how they come out uh, this period. Maybe they can straighten themselves out. Islanders control. Wing wide. Pass behind Bossy. Collects off the carom. Rolls it in. Palmatier collects off the tip of the stick. Clears to the sideboard. Lana McDonald there. Seven. Takes a hit from Patrick McDonald. Is knocked back. Back from the Leafs. Two on two. Rink wide it goes into Tiger Williams into the corner with Denny Potvin. Potvin beats him to the rubber. Icing call against Maple Leafs. Boy, that was quite a hit by Brian Trotcher. Frank, you have to wonder about Trotcher. He's leading the league in scoring. He's got 100 points. Guy Lafleur is 98, and he throws his weight around so much that it has to drain him physically. And yet, he seems to be able to sustain these checks when he's throwing them and when he receives them. It's kind of amazing that he can. Just keep going this way. There's the check. Very innocent seeming. Uh, the amazing thing about it, he's like Buster Keaton. He's got that deadpan all the time. But once he <laughs> hits you, uh, the other guy is the one who's a deadpan. All right. Here's deadpan Trotche against Sittler. Trotche trying to pick it off the wing. Drive on the long side by Lewis. It's wide. Hot band can't keep it in at the point. Sittler gets it. Comes back across the line. One on two. Drops it back on the left wing. Tiger Williams out of position. Basse shoots it back up to the Toronto line that moves to center. Trache will control. Try to hit Clark Gillies right at the Toronto line. Pass too far. It's an offside, or rather, an icing call against the New York Islanders. Face off will have to come all the way back on the New York end. 1902 remaining second period. There he is, the Swede, 21, the all star defenseman, Boya Salme. Talking to Harold Ballard about Salming, he says that he is one of the gutsiest players he's ever had on the Maple Leaf Club. And he's a guy that when he first came into the league, Stan, a few years back, uh, everybody was taking shots at him, but he held up so well. You notice the name on the back of the jersey is Ballard said uh, he's not <laughs> going to let people see it very clearly. <laughs> Ferguson will work against Wayne Merrick to the right side of Chico. 9.02 remaining second period. Frank Taylor with Stan Fischler, Islanders, and Maple Leafs knotted up at one apiece. Westfall is in there. Merrick is thrown out of the draw. It comes to Price, the defenseman number three, paired off with Jerry Hart. Merrick, the center iceman now, drops it back to big Pat Price, number three. This is Merrick moving on the left wing, shades it in the middle, bumped at the line by Jones. And it's shot back into the New York zone. Toronto will ice the puck. They'll ice you to death. That's their style of play. Game coming to you from the Nassau Coliseum, second period, 1839 remaining. Islanders won, Maple Leafs won. Trigger and the save by Pometier. Can't get the stick on it. Westfall centering pass and it hit the post. Very and Merrick thought he had a goal. He Maple Leafs finally stick. clear. I hope we can get a piece of that on replay a little bit later when we get a chance. Merrick raised the stick, thought he had the goal off the feed from Westfall. Here comes Merrick streaking to center. Westfall gets it at center ice on the right wing, clears in on Pometier. Johansson, number four, tries to tear him out. He can't. It kept in by Hart. Merrick along the boards. Looks for the play, feeds deep to Harris, 15. Celery pass, Westfall can't get a stick at a price. Lines it up and takes the drive. The rebound is coming up by Mike Palmatier. Merrick with another opportunity. Price has a lot of wood on this, and Palmatier seems to have a little trouble now. There's Merrick, and he had the point of his stick trying to get that puck. He didn't have any kind of an angle, and... He was a little bit too close to the goal kind to be able to do anything about it. And uh, Merrick misses two good chances there. The first one was high. It hit the post. He put his stick up in the air, but it did not cross the goal line. Little Mike Palmatier with the big pads and the big hearts. Good goal tenor for Toronto. He's young, too. In the middle, Stan Weir. 
chips it in. Bobby Bourne takes it down against Rod Ellis. Behind Chico Arrest. Dave Lewis coming up with it. Bobby Bourne now. Looks for the play as Toronto four checks. Lewis in the middle at his own line. Comes this side behind any pot that he can't control it. At the Toronto line. Long, heading to Lewis along the boards at center. Shoots it in harmlessly on Mike Pometeer. Play number 24 kept in by Lewis. Shooting Lewis and the save goes wide. Lewis got good wood on it but off the mark. Warren tips it in. Glenning gets to it though. Nystrom tries to carry into the attacking zone. Loses an edge. Falls down. But clears in. Stand where number 14 drew in the four checker for the Islanders. Boy is selling 21. Too far for 20. Comes up to Ferguson. Nystrom with the body at center ice. On Boutet. Boone again, 17. Works to the Islander line in the middle. Denny Potvin, number five. He moves into the attacking zone. Spun around by Brian Glenn. He keeps his feet. The body drewing on Boyas Helming as he falls down. Play at the turn of the boards. Getting rough. Nystrom there. Centering pass out to Bourne. Can't control. Nystrom out in front with Brian Glenn. He wrapped up in the slot. No call. Palmatier falls down. He was struck on the head with a stick. Lewis clears it in. Frank, I don't think Palmatier knew what hit him there. It might have been Nystrom's stick. I thought it was an accident. Nystrom just took a run at Glenny and missed him completely. This is Stan Weir, 14. The trailer is Ellis. Ellis fakes. 21 Bullius Salming shooting and the save by Rash. Out in front, it clears behind the net. Crutchy tried to get it out. He couldn't do it. Hot there at the side of the net. Against Boutet. And the puck is frozen up. Good chance for the Maple Leafs that time. Uh, looked like Rush was out on the play. Boots had a tough kid. He was flattened once by Nystrom. Assuming wants to get a little air on the right, but he doesn't quite get it far enough. Rush makes the save, but the Leafs get the puck, and Rush has to hurry up over to his left to cover up there in time with Jerry Hart. McDonald pressure against Jerry Hart at the turn of the boards in the New York end. Trache steps in. We're going to break in the action here at the Nassau Coliseum. 16.04 remaining. Second period. Islanders and Maple Leafs tied at one. Hart clears it in. Intercepted by Toronto in their zone. Williams loses. Back after it, Ian Turnbull, number two, trying to work on Clark Gillies, and he breaks up the play dangerously in front of Mike Palmatier. Toronto Maple Leafs finally shooting into the out of their zone. Bad pass taken away by McDonald. Angle drive and the pad save by Chico Resch. The big rebound off the boards. Golfing at it, Ian Turnbull, number two, right to Hart. A little bit of sloppy play in the out of their zone. Jerry finally shoots it out. Frank, that was a situation. When in doubt, get it out. And Jerry Hart finally uh, shot it out, but it was called back. Uh, I believe that puck hit someone on the Maple Leaf bench, and uh, as a result, it was called from the place where the puck was shot, which is deep aisle in the zone, so the faceoff is going to be taken there. Brian Trotty against Daryl Sittler. Montreal leading Detroit 4-2. Guy Lafleur has two goals. That ties him with Brian Trotty at 100 points even for the National Hockey League scoring lead. Dave Lewis paired with Denny Potvin. Lewis to the neutral zone. The quick rush to center. Trying to headman up to Clark Gillies too far. Gillies in on Palmatier. Palmatier clears around the dasher. Intercepted by Gillies. Gillies tied up by Pellick. This is Sittler knocked down by Lewis. Frache in traffic. Feeds it off to Lewis. Gillies in the backhand. Bid by the New York Islanders. Still pressure. Fosse in the corner against Ian Turnbull. Fache is spun around and finally McDonald clears it out to the New York end. Denny Potvin will run it down deep in his own zone. He moves behind Rush against Tiger Williams. Fosse the clear now but not out. McDonald keeps it in. Finally at the New York line controlling Denny Potvin. Lewis at center up along the boards to Clark Gillies, captain. Shoots in. Tom Atier leads for Ian Turnbull, number two. Islanders in the middle of the line change, 22. Sittler trying to feed McDonald, and Toronto will change in the fly now. Coming hard, here's Jerry. Lose the set up for the Islander rush on the right wing. Still it's hard control. It's no call on the play. Thompson takes over. 
And Way Merrick deflects it over the glass at center ice, and the Islanders looking for the penalty call on the Toronto Maple Leafs on the Jerry Hart rush. Number two, Jerry Hart led a terrific rush there. Once again, Ron Wicks took a good long look at it, but he has not been calling money of that kind of penalty, so there was no reason for him to call one then. Hart got in the play right away. the play where Bossy did not get enough good wood on it. If he could do that over again, he would have lifted it over Palantir, but he didn't have any time. It was on his back end. He made the play, one of the left corner. He couldn't get it. Ferguson works against Wayne Merrick. Finally, Ferguson controls, clears in deep behind Rush. Pat Price, number three, the four checker is Thompson, number 12. Pat Price heads it up along the Howard on the left wing. Three on two. Merrick trying to close in. He squeezed out the play. Quick shot on the angle taken by Howard. Steered away by Palmatier. This is Howard now controlling. Part of his own line. Intercepted by Thompson. Thompson feeds on the right wing. Nobody there. Back comes Merrick. The trailer is Howard. Howard trying to pull the trigger and he pad on the play. Butler 17 trying to go rink wide to Ferguson. He does. Ferguson puts the brakes on, trying to feed Thompson break and through intercepted by Pat Price. And the rubber clears in at the Toronto zone. We are selling 21. Karen's at the center. Picked away by Price. He clears it back in. 13.06 remaining in the second period. Frank Daly with Stan Fischler. Ferguson, number 10, back checking his Merrick as he overtakes the puck. Ferguson gets it back and shoots it in on Dave Lewis. Lewis, the safety valve, up ahead to Price. Now to Harris. Harris, the soft pass to Merrick to Harris. Harris coming in on Lenny. Lenny rides him right off the play on the good defensive play. Howard tried to keep it in. He couldn't stand where he broke the center. Ellis, the 60-foot drive. And had plenty of steam on it from Ron Ellis. Hot man. Moves to center. Ian Turnbull, the good offensive defenseman for Toronto. Fires in. Here's Denny. Merrick. His stick off the ice, the puck went underneath. All the way down to Palmatier. The icing is waved off. Ian Turnbull will control for Maple Leafs. Four checking is Hugh Druin. Druin almost kept it in, but coming back for Toronto is Ron Ellis. Ellis, the blind pass to Ian Turnbull. Good pressure by Islanders on the four check. Lewis, Druin. Druin now looks for the play. Comes back to the turn of the boards. Looks to Nystrom. Bouncing puck can't control. Back come Toronto. Stan Weir now. Breaking in. Boutet. Puck is shot on the short side. Goes behind the net. Collected by Nystrom. Up it goes to Jude Druin. Jude Druin rink wide. A little too far for Bobby Bourne. With a stick at the blue line. Johansson. And the offside rule against Ganeshi. the New York Islanders. Ganeshi, please report to the security office. 11.38 remaining in the second period. We're still tied at one. Goal scorers in that first period. And seconds later, Ron Ellis picking up number 22, each with 22 goals, born in Ellis. And that's where we stand right now. Nystrom off balance at the blue line, loses control. Frank, the Islanders seem to be missing with their passes a couple of inches. That was another case in point. Born not able to handle the pass from Jerry Hart. Hart put it about five inches too far ahead of him. Nystrom takes a poke at it in his own zone, leads it off to Druin. Islander rush moves to the neutral zone. Nystrom breaking hard on the right wing. Across the line he comes. But offside, Bobby Bourne on the far side on the left wing. Now well, Bourne anticipated the play, but uh, too far ahead, and the pass didn't come to him. The boos are for Guy Lafleur, as they announce he has two goals tonight against Detroit. Montreal there, you see, leading 4-2. Roger Nielsen right behind the lead bench. He looks like he's a lot younger than some of his players. He was a former high school teacher. And the crowd and the applause for Brian Trache, letting him know that they want to see some points off his stick. Black tied up at center ice. Tiger Williams gets the face off. Gives an elbow to another 22, Mike Basse. See, Williams get that little left hand. Boom. Basse, though, 
a Lady Bing candidate. Uh, Tiger Williams is hardly a Lady Bing candidate. He leads the league in penalties. Frank, in a situation like that, the enforcer for the Islanders has to be Clark Gillies. He has to assert himself. You don't expect Fosse or Trotje to get in fights if they can help it. Gillies is the fighter. Paired on the blue line, Hart works with Stefan Pearson. This is Stefan. Bossy shooting in Toronto end. Tom Mateer has to clear under some pressure from Gillies. On the right wing, Lanny McDonald goes rink wide right out on the stick of Tiger Williams. Bossy comes up, gives him a bump, knocks him right off the puck. Pache trying to feed Clark Gillies in a step by McDonald. Pache gets a backward stick handling. Pache now in the middle. Pache is pulled down. Puck came out of the zone and back in, so the Islanders are trapped offside. Get an idea how effective the leaf blanket is on the Trache line. They're using their top line against them, and they're not letting Brian really get free. Rossi's had a couple of chances, but uh, not the kind that he normally gets. He usually gets a few more than he has so far. So the checking has been excellent by the Leafs. Game has opened up a little bit, I think, though, Stan, here in the second period. Uh, Maple Leafs a good checking team, but a few more opportunities here with 10-14 uh, remaining in the second period, at least for New York. Here comes Bryant with 100 points. Coming one on two on the lead defense. Bosse offside on the near wing. At the time, it seemed as if the uh, puck slowed down in the snow that's been created at the blue line and it seemed to pull Trotje. And Bosse went over the line a little bit ahead of him. The line is not showing as well as they normally do tonight. Daryl Sittler, Tiger Williams, and Lanny McDonald. They'll change up defensively. Mike Pellick, number 20, will come out there, and Ian Turnbull, number two, there's Brian, 19. He'll take the face off outside the Toronto blue line against Daryl Sittler. Finally, the rubber is dropped. Sprung loose by Sittler. Sittler from 65, gloved by Rush. Rush a little bit off balance on the play, but he grabbed it nonetheless. Here comes another Swede headmanning up to Trache. Trache shoots in. The rebound comes out front. Tom Atier will cover up. We've got a break in the action. Second period here at the Nassau Coliseum. 9.49 remaining. Islanders and Maple Leafs nodded at one. The Trache and Sittler line will stay out there. Al Arbor behind the aisle on the bench has to be a little bit concerned. The team is not busting out the way he'd like him to. Mike Pellick, number 20, for Toronto. Works through his defensive partner, Ian Turnbull. The four-checker is Trache with a stick on the puck. Henning now ties up Turnbull a little bit. Play comes to center, Pat Price. Looking ahead to Fosse, a little bit too far intercepted by Mike Pellick. Settler, rink wide, Lana McDonald on side. Angle drive, short side, just getting a piece of it. Chico Resch. Quick shot from that angle by Lana McDonald. He can pull the trigger. Trotchy in the middle, looking for Fosse. Had he collected the pass, he may have been offside. Settler at center ice with a gang of blue shirts at the New York line. Cleared in, bouncing puck at the goal line. Denny Potvin, number five, has it. And he's got some room. He will rush himself. Out of the rush at center, Denny Potvin, number five. Shoots it around Tiger Williams. And again, uh, the puck is shot out. So we'll have a face-off just outside. Toronto Maple Leaf Blue Line, a souvenir for the crowd. The way things are going, Frank, it's a kind of game where Denny Potvin has to find some openings for the Islanders. If the forwards can't do it, it's a guy like Denny who can come down that center lane and go either to the left or the right and get that good wrist shot going. And uh, it appears that Denny may have to take a few more chances. This boy is selling. He's second in scoring for defensemen in the National Hockey League. Number one is Denny Potvin. Selling the flashy Swede. Clears it up to Brutet. Then he pot fan. Works to Mike Kazicki, only a second shift tonight. Weaves it out to center ice. Kazicki into the attacking zone. The Lauren Henning pulls the trigger of the save by Pomatier right at the corner of the crease. Pomatier didn't get a good hole on that puck and managed to drop it right in front of him. If he had uh, Maybe he landed about a foot in front. That could have been a rebound. Kaziki not playing that much tonight. The Islanders keeping it in. Now here's Palmerton. Now notice he drops it in front. Westfall can't touch it. Neither can Kaziki. Face off in deep Toronto zone. Salming 
shoots through New York zone. Pat Price. Is any pot fan? Jim Jones with a stick out of momentarily. Pat Price gets it back. Here comes the Islander breakout play with 8-19 remaining in the second period. Long wing wide pass into Kaziki. Kaziki races behind the net. Smart play by goalie Mike Palmatier. He by reflex he was going to go behind the net and uh, get a piece of that puck. He realized the Islanders were on the offside. He let it go. Kaziki came in, touched the puck. We have 8:13 left in the second period. A 1-1 hockey game. Pretty good checking, but uh, it's been opening up a bit in the second period. A lot more end-to-end -end play. Kaziki, Westfall, and Lorne Henning. The front line. Kaziki. Controls to Hartz. This is Pearson in his own end. Hart rink wide Westfall. Pass deflected by Lenny. All right, now Jerry Hart takes over. Works it up to Lorne Henning. He can't keep it out. Sunlin keeps it in. Bouncing puck in front. A smart play by Hart clearing to the sideboards. Rush in the help out up to Mike Kazicki, 21. He finds Lorne Henning. Henning. Shoots it in the Toronto end. Eddie Westfall, bouncing puck, and he's wrapped up. He can't control. Jack Balakev spun him around. Play was jamming the corner. Lone heading there as well, trying to feed up high. Can't do it. Intercepted by Toronto. Toronto shot is deflected wide of Chico Resch. Stephen Pearson there. Lauren Henning tied up by Butler. Jones there with a stick on it. Toronto will change on the fly. Pearson. Under some pressure, has to release to Hart. Hart headmans up to Lorne Henning, and he will go to the bench. Earl Thompson, number 12, back. He comes for Toronto. Controls on the backhand, force deep off the angle and off the puck by Hart. The angle drive taken from the point by Johansson, the save by Rush. Yeah. A good shot by Johansson, and uh, look for a minute like Rush might have blown that or given the puck away on the rebound. Pearson in front of his own line, looks to the left wing. Bobby Bourne trying to streak around Johansson. Gets it to trouble with his passing tonight but he got there just in time before Thompson uh, Thompson got that puck he would have been in pretty good position for a good pass out Settler McDonald Thompson for Toronto Islanders get the draw moving up defenseman Dave Lewis 25 working with Merrick just out here in front of him some traffic Lewis has to clear to the prior zone. That should be an icing call. It is. It's a kind of bad pass that's been hurting the Islanders a lot tonight. There was a lot of time Dave Lewis did not size it up well at all, and he went along the boards instead of looking for a free man, taking a little more time. Al Arba decides enough of this. We're going to change lines, and he's got the big one out there, Tranche, Gillies, and Bossy. The number one lineup, Ryan Trotche, Clark Gillies, and Mike Bossy. Players jam inside the faceoff circle. McDonald falls down. Lewis there to try and steal from him. Gillies is there. We've got another faceoff and another break in the action. 4.47 remaining. Go ahead, goal scored by Bobby Bourne. Or rather, uh, Bob Nystrom, excuse me. And uh, for Nystrom, his 19th born had an assist, as did 
Jude Druin. So it's two to one. Second period. Frank Daly with Stan Fischler and rookie Leaf Winger. John Anderson will be Stan Fischler's guest between the second and the third period. Dave Lewis gets the puck out of some traffic against Tiger Williams. Here's Denny Potvin, the all-star defenseman, goes to the Ricky Bossy and the giving go back to Crutcher. Crutcher in wide of Palmateer. From the point, here's Lewis. Bouncing puck in front. Bossy trying to get a stick on it for you. Selling does. Denny Potvin shoots. Bossy nearly had another one, but there was a lot of traffic around, and he couldn't get really good wood on it. Dennis Potvin nearly followed up with a what looked like a goal, good possibility. And notice Palmateer gives a rebound. He is not taming that puck very well for a goaltender, so the Islanders keep that in play. Now Bossy is going to cruise right in there, but there's no room. He got it on his backhand, but he can't get it high. He wanted to get that a little bit high. Now, Referee Wicks got in the way of the play there, and Bossy loses it, but it comes to Potvin, and Potvin makes a good shot on goal. The Leafs covered up the face-off in deep Toronto zone. On the Islander right wing, Trotsche and Darrell Sittler. Sittler pulls it back. Brian Glenny, number 24, comes near side, deep into Sittler, skates to Glenny, back far side, Boya Salming. Salming to the neutral zone, shooting it in wide of Chico Resch. Denny Potvin, double team, has to get it away from the second McDonald up on the left wing. Here comes Black Gillies on a quick rush. This is a three on two. Gillies, Potre, the trailer, poked away neatly by Brian Glenny. Back outside, and the puck brought back into the attacking zone for the Islander offside. Gillies zigging when he should have been zagging on that one. Should have got rid of that puck a little bit sooner. Frank, uh, he's having a rough night tonight. In fact, this whole line is having a rough night tonight, uh, which, in a sense, is a tribute to the Toronto checking. <coughs> Brian Trotre. He's been watching the scoreboard and may notice that Gila Floor has a pair Al Alba behind the aisle on the bench. He's got himself a one goal lead with this kind of lead team. You can't be too sure with one goal. If he had a five goal lead, he would not unfold his arms. Pat Price can't keep it in. Salming tried to get it out. He really did. Here's Pat Price now wheeling it center ice. Basse, Basse trying to beat Pache in the slot. It's held up in the Toronto zone. It's Tiger Williams. Glenny. Selming. Selming weaves to center ice and he can skate. Everybody at the blue line at the New York line. Plenty from 55. And saved by Chico Rest. At the turn of the boards, Buck is frozen up. We're going to break in the action. 313 remaining second period. New York 2, Maple Leafs 1. been a while since we've had a face-off down this end. Glenn Resch has not been tested much in the second period, which in a sense is a tribute to the Islander checking, but also the Islander offense has been a little bit better than it was in the first, and uh, but he has not been that sharp tonight, even though he's only given up a goal. Islanders only had five shots in the first period. As Stan mentioned, they have had uh, some more offensive punch. But really, uh, they're not uh, putting on the offensive pressure like they can. Long pass up to center ice. Bobby Bourne flips it right to Ron Ellis. He didn't want to do that. Ian Turnbull trying to go rink wide, try to send in Ellis, swept away by Jerry Hart. Bobby Bourne against Stan Weir, pokes it in the middle, skating backwards. Ian Turnbull almost lost to Nystrom. Ron Ellis with the helmet. The veteran took two years off. He's back in fine form. This year in the NHL, Jerry Hart in traffic to Nystrom with a goal tonight trying to feed Jude Bruin. Bobby Nystrom falls down. Back comes Stan Weir, two on two. The trailer, Pellick. This is Weir trying to feed. Pellick, it goes behind him into the corner. Centering pass down in front, hit the side of the cage. Ferguson now works to Ellis. Here comes Bruin, three on two. Bruin slides into the attacking zone. Back checking all the way around Ellis for Toronto Maple Leafs. And Ellis, a good two-way hockey player. Nystrom against Pellick with the body. Pat Price in his own zone gets away from Stan Weir. Down to about two minutes here in the second period. Here comes Big Cat number three. Takes it in himself, trying to squeeze through a couple of players. Can't do it, ridden out the puck. Toronto controls. Mike Pellick, number 20. Up to Lanny McDonald, right in front of the red line. Feeds it in, the angle drive. Pat 
Ties it at two with a minute 45 remaining in the second period. Lewis gets himself out of position to start. Now I watch Lewis take himself right out of the play. That opens up the right side for the Leafs. But Rush is bad on this play. I don't think he was screened on that. He goes down. The puck goes up on the left side. It's a tie hockey game. Number 20, Mike Pellick, the time of the goal, 1850. That ties it up here at the Nassau Coliseum with a minute 45. Who tapped the goal, assisted by McDonald and Pellick, officially at 1815. Tied it to New York and Toronto. And just like that, we got another game. Merrick tries to clear it in. Slapped down at the line by Glenny. And he's called for handling the puck. And that was a, a tough goal, too, by Boutet because it was on the off wing. He had to make the left-handed shot on the right wing. Well, the, the, the side was opened up by Dave Lewis. He made the play. He was caught flat-footed there, and that opened it up for Boutet. And uh, he didn't shoot it from that far out, but on a play like that, you expect a goaltender like Rush to make the save. He's a little bit rusty tonight. Wayne Merrick against Daryl Sittler. Sittler pulls it back to Glenny, releases over to Boya Selmy. On the right wing at center. Bouncing puck in on Rush. Steered into the corner. Cleared all the way to center. Glenny has trouble controlling against Merrick. Howard pulls down McDonald. Sittler there. Look at that turn there by Boya Salmon. Can turn on a dime. Thompson clears in on Rush. Billy Harris with a minute remaining. Head manning up to Howard off his stick, and it's deflected over the Islander bench. So we'll have another face-off just outside the Toronto Maple Leaf blue line with 56 remaining, 56 seconds. We're tied at two apiece. Well, you know, you look at Wayne Merrick, number 11 on the Islanders, it's kind of amazing to think that uh, a couple of weeks ago it looked like he was dead on the ice when he got belted behind the net by a couple of Detroit Red Wings. Brian Glenny in front of Mike Palmatier. Billy Harris, the four checker. Gary Howard there on the left side as well. The rubber comes to center. Collected, circling is Pat Price. Works on the left wing to Howard. He was going the wrong way. Glenny makes the touch against Merrick. The puck was shot from behind the red line. That's an icing call against the Islanders. Face off all the way down to the New York zone. Toronto Maple Leaf left wing with 39 seconds. Frank, you got to give the Leafs points for coming back. They've got the shooters, and uh, the big guns have been doing some pretty good firing. Uh, in fact, if you remember the first period, Resch was beaten by a slap shot early in the uh, game by Lenny McDonald. He hit the crossbar, and uh, McDonald and Sittler don't mind shooting that puck from outside the blue line if they get the chance because they've got a lot of velocity behind those shots. Daryl Sittler and Eddie Westfall just to the right side of Chico Resch. 39 seconds remaining and a full start. Mr. Delabarry. And we'll Mr. do it again. Delabarry, please report to the security. Westfall working up front with Brian Trotche. Al Arbor wanting to get some offensive punch for the final uh, 38 seconds. Also Clark Gillies there as well. Very important face off for the Islanders. It's controlled by New York. That's why Westfall's out there. But Sidler gets it back. This is an end deep from McDonald. Hart takes a hit from Tiger Williams. Hacking at it is Clark Gillies against Boya Sally. McDonald fires at it. Couldn't get good wood on it. Chico Resch wants to cover up right at the goal line. Finally lets go of it, but not before the whistle blew. Uh, an excellent play along the boards, you know. It's a, really an odd to be able to cover up on that right side or the left side when you're trying to keep the puck from being shot out of the offensive zone. And Salming covered up completely, and it forced the, the faceoff in deep eye on the zone again. Sittler against Westfall, 21 seconds remaining. Jerry Hart quickly comes out on the right wing. Center. Looks ahead to Gillies. Bouncing puck poked away by Boya Salming. Hart pushes it into the attacking zone. With it now is Brian Glenny with five seconds. Salming. Tipped at the line. Tiger Williams with a second. He takes the shot. And the save is made by Chico Rett. So after two periods of play, New York 2, Toronto 2. Toronto's own handling the puck 
now. This is Brian Glenny at the Toronto line. Beats the Tiger Williams, moves to center, rubbed along the boards of center ice by Trotchev. And he popped in, wheels away from the forecheck of Darrell Sitter on his own end. Crowd a little restless right now, they want a goal. Here's Trotchev with 100 points. He's tied with Keith Lafleur, who has two goals tonight, each for 100. Tiger Williams, the hit from Trotchev, 19. They tangle in the Toronto zone. Fast skating, boy, you're sounding into the attacking zone, trying to squeeze by two defensemen, rubbed off the play by both Lewis and Potvin. Lewis picked up loose rubber on the give and go from Bate. Gillies at center, looking for Trotche. Trotche goes into the corner, trying to come up with it. He's wrapped up by Williams and Glenny. Finally, Toronto breaks out. Tiger Williams, 22. With the move to center, slow down by Captain Clark Gillies. Back there to Gillies. Two on one, Trotche with Trotche. The crowd with a save by Palmatier. The line rebound is gathered in by McDonald. Trotche with a blistering shot, takes another one. Stick saved by Palmatier on the near side. Rebound steered to the corner. Howard is out there. Here's McDonald against Billy Harris. Boutet now with a goal tonight. Weaves to center. Takes a long high shot. Rush lets it go over the top of the net. Hart has it, feeds it up along the boards to Howard. Merrick. Merrick to the center zone. Trying to set in Harris. Harris with a speed. Can't move around. Ian Turner with a grab and a save. the shot pushes it in wide of Palmatier and the slow whistle right at the Maple Leaf blue line. Frank, that was an excellent follow-up by Billy Harris. His first shot of backhand was not at a good angle, but Palmatier very generously gave him the rebound and he took that puck and just slipped it right out in front. And once that puck was out in front, Merrick just put it right in the left corner. Very fine play. at Wayne Merrick and Gary Howitt, number eight and 11. Face off to the Toronto side of the red line. Stan Weir against Wayne Merrick, 18-06 minute of the game. Auditors in front, 3-2, to the go-ahead goal by Wayne Merrick. Turnbull from 60 to drive. It's turned aside by Rick. Real hard shot by Ian Turnbull, number two for Toronto. Pressure now by Toronto. Johansson pushes it in. Rush will hold on as Thompson was standing right over the puck beside Jerry Hart. It was an interesting exchange there. Billy Harris handed his stick to Jerry Hart after Hart had lost his stick. Canadians now leading Detroit 7 to 3. In the, at the end of the second period, the crowd roaring. Uh, Andre Saint Laurent has himself a goal, but Guy Lafleur has four points, and uh, that could put him. I had a track, Jay, by the time the night is up. 22, 102 points to 100. LaFleur with four points tonight. Bruins now leading Philadelphia 4-3 to three in the third period. Here's Thompson under some pressure from Denny Potvin in the Islander end. Merrick against Ferguson. Now Lewis, the defenseman for the Islanders along the boards. Ian Turnbull hits to, to the corner. Dennis Portman took that pass off balance. And once he got that puck, now you watch. 
Dennis is off balance when he gets it, but he gets it right in front, and he puts it in the left corner. Now, Palmateer may have been screened on that, but it found the left corner, and it's a 4-2 to two hockey game, and you got to give Putman a lot of credit for firing that one. There's Dennis on the Islander bench. Look at that snapshot. Palmateer got a piece of it, but just a little bit too late. Back to the live action, 4-2, Islanders over Maple Leafs, and the crowd is pumped up, Stan Fischler, and they should be. Hart to Price, right across the blue stripe. The Karen McGillies clears in, for you sounding now from Palmateer. Crowd wants more. Gillies keeps it in front of the Palmateer off the backhand by Brian Trunchen. Sittler. Offside Toronto as the puck came back out of the line with the Maple Leafs trapped inside. Lanny McDonald, number seven. He's got some firepower for Toronto. Oh, Gillies making a nice feed there. Now watch Trache. He puts it on the back end. He's going for the right side, and he was a bit tied up by Boya Saming, but a nice save by Mike Palmatier. That right. Big guy number three lops it in. McDonald and Gillies race after it. Icing is the call. McDonald made the touch first. Right now, the uh, pressure is going to be on the island of defense and slowly Glenn Resch. Uh, with a two goal lead, the way the offense has come through, it's up to the defense to tighten up. And of course, the forwards are going to have to continue checking. And the news in the Boston Philly game is in the Islanders' favor because the Bruins opened up a four to three lead in the third period. If the Bruins beat Philadelphia and the Islanders win here, Islanders will open up a seven point lead in the Patrick Division. If Philadelphia wins and Islanders lose, only three points will separate New York and Philadelphia. Marcus sat up on the draw. When he tries to keep it in, takes a hit from Fletcher. Solomon, or rather Sittler, swipes out of the fan. Sending in. Let's go. Here's Darryl Sittler. Releases to the right wing. Lanny McDonald on Jerry Hart. His drive deflected by a hot stick into the crowd over the glass. Lanny McDonald on Jerry Hart. His drive deflected by a hot stick into the crowd over the glass. Westfall with an opportunity. Coming down on Brian Glennie. Westfall with a, a bit of neat stick handling. Put himself in good position. You take a look at it. He gets that puck over the... Now watch that play. He's right on the wrist. Great play. He doesn't have that much of an eye, though, and Palmatier covers up. That left leg of Mike Palmatier getting a workout. Troche, Gillies, and Mike Bossy. 16-07 remaining in the game. The Islanders, two quick goals here in the third period. They lead it 4-2. Eddie Potvin has one of those goals. Merrick has the other here in the third. At the Toronto line, Boya Selmy. Deflected by the check of Troche. Selmy gets it back to center. Sittler is driving. A finer save with that left-hand glove you'll never see. Here's Lewis. Up along right wing, Bosse trying to send in Trotche, intercepted by Salmon. With McDonald to drive on the short side, but we had a whistle on the offside. Had it gone in, it would not have counted. And Rush, he just uh, eased up, knowing that whistle had been blown. Sidler can bomb that puck, and uh, Rush had to be very sharp. It was sort of like that mid-save he made in the last second of the second period when uh, Tiger Williams nearly had him beat. The other one was a little higher, but again, he had to use that mid and be very fast about it. That one's like a cold shower in the morning. It'll wake you up. Ian Turnbull now. Shooting just wide over the net. Back on the Islanders. You draw. Rick Mason. Drew it now. Offside. Drew with some pressure on Palmatier. Back comes Ian Turnbull. Good action. End to end. The poke check by Dave Lewis. Puck stays right on the New York line. Players jam up. Finally, Bobby Bourne gets it. The checker is Ron Ellis. Bourne tries to move Ron Ellis. He can't at the Toronto line. Nystrom caught inside, offside. Face off outside. The 
Maple Leaf Blue Line, Bobby Bourne, with a great feed to Nystrom for an earlier goal tonight. Frank, the uh, last report we have is that there are two minutes left in the Bruin Philly game with the Bruins leading Philadelphia four to three. We've got 14.59 remaining here. Frank Danny with Stan Fischler. And the game has opened up. Arch drive. Hometeer handles it and clears to the sideboards up on the left wing. Boutet. In the middle it goes to Weir. Right side. Ellis trying to close. Ellis clears wide of rest. Centering pass. Deflecting it wide. Here's Pelling in the save by rest. Who's back out of the cheap goal? Score is a 4-4 tie. McLeish tied it for the Flyers on an open a goal in the last minutes of the game. Look at that tip by Resch. Kept in at the point. Pellix drive and Resch under some pressure. Decides he'll do it himself. Frank on the uh, Flyers Bruin game. The Flyers pulled their goalie and uh, they tied it up. McLeese scoring the tying goal and it winds up a 4-4 tie. Philadelphia and Boston. That came up at the Garden in Boston. Gary Howard against Boya Salming. Salming wins the race to the puck. Merrick has to hold till Howard clears. He calls it outside. We got a break of the action. 14-23 remaining in the game. Honors four. Maple Leafs two. off outside Toronto's blue line Wayne Merrick and Daryl Sittler how it works with Merrick on the near side on the right wing it'll be Billy Harris the defensive pairings Jerry Hart this side we look to the far side to Stefan Pearson Errol Thompson is working one wing with Daryl Sittler as is Lanny McDonald Boya Salming and Brian Glenny back defensively for Maple Leafs Hart clears in real hard. Harris can't keep it in. Pearson does to Harris. He's tied up by Glenny along the boards. This is Lanny McDonald. On Hart. McDonald pulls the trigger and the save by Chico Rex. That puck was really going into orbit, and that would have gone right under the crossbar if Resch hadn't covered up neatly on that. Between Sittler and McDonald, you know, they really throw those rockets at you, and it seemed to me that Resch in a split second might not have been able to cover up, but he got there in time, and uh, a real good save. Good shot. Eric, over to Lewis on the faceoff. Lewis rolls the rubber up to the Toronto line. Boya Salming handles, as he does so often during the course of the game. Eric takes it away from Lana McDonald's. Fires it in. He falls down behind the net. That is Selma. Sittler takes a hit from Howard. Play comes to center. Lewis to intercept. Back to Merrick. Merrick in the attacking zone. Brings it back out as he's held up by Selman. When he feeds along the boards to Thompson. Thompson's 360s around. Finally the rubber comes to center. Sittler and Thompson poked away by Denny Puckman to center. And that breaks up the Toronto rush. The shot goes wide on the short side. Harris there to collect the rebound centering pass. Steered away by Toronto Selman. Errol Thompson now trying to get up some speed. Trying to headman it up to Errol Thompson. Intercepted off the New York line by Dave Lewis. He tried to hit Harris. Harris couldn't control at the Toronto line. They call icing on the play. 13.07 remaining here at the Nassau Coliseum. Islanders four, Maple Leafs two. The Flyers of 81, the Flyers have a game in hand on the Islanders. And that'll be six points. Is that right? Not counting that game in hand. Westfall tried to get win. control. He couldn't do it. Plenty of time left here, though. Price heading along the boards in his own end, trying to go rink-wide to Mike Kozicki, chopped down by Boutet. Johansson, Westfall, the four-checker. Boutet along the boards against Kozicki. Gets it up to Ian Turnbull. Now Ferguson 
Ferguson holes against Westfall. Centers through the slot. Bouncing puck. Henning stops it. Picked up by Boutet. Boutet now feeds to Turnbull against Henning. Centering pass taken away by Avenger's defenseman Jerry Hart. He caroms it out to center. Johansson works to Ian Turnbull. Good passing Maple Leafs. Trying to pull the trigger is Ferguson. He fanned on the play. Price rides him into the boards. The shot steered away and stopped by the Islander defense. Henning can't control it. Johansson gets it back for Toronto. Westfall gets a stick on it, but Turnbull back at his own line. The four-checker Kaziki under some pressure. Finally, Toronto has it, but not under full control. Westfall with some pressure. Forces Toronto deep. Good four-checker. And the crowd loves it. Westfall looks for the answer. Right into Mike Pavlich here. You won't see Westfall do that often. Kind of a cute play by the veteran Westfall. Johansson works to Boutet. Crowd yelling. Eddie, Eddie. Tiger Williams against Westfall. Westfall chases Tiger Williams out of his own zone. Puckney came up and rode Williams right up the puck at the Toronto line. Crowd loving every minute of it. Gillies tied up along the boards. Jones shoots it in. Taken away by Denny. Denny with the deep on the left. Trying to send in Basse. Basse pulled down by Brian Glennie. No penalty. Toronto, Ron Ellis pinned along the boards. Lewis keeps it in. Bouncing puck through the grease, steered away by Salmon. Back comes Toronto. Here's Ellis. Ellis now for Toronto. To Salmon. Trying to swing around. Lewis. Lewis pins him down. Lewis takes charge. Jones with it. Flips back into the New York end. Puck fan winning it. The race is Tiger Williams. Turnaround shot blocked by Lewis. Lewis cups it up between his knees for the faceoff. On Wicks isn't calling anything, Frank. Uh, he's going to call one on either end, one on Glenny, and then another one on Dave Lewis, but uh, he's letting him play hockey. And if the Islanders keep checking the way they were in the last couple of minutes, they'll be okay. The bad news flashed Rick McLeish tying that game uh, in Boston. It's a 4 4 tie. The fly is coming from behind, but. The Islanders, if they win, will have 87 points, which at the moment will be the second best point record in the league, which will be a factor when the pairings are decided at the end of the season. If the Islanders can hold first place, they get that important bye. All first place teams will get a bye. Westfall is out there to take this very important face off deep in the Islanders zone. He works with Clark Gillies and Brian Troche. A lot of times Al Arbor will throw out the veteran Westfall, who's the good face-off man, like that. Defenseman Jerry Hart. McDonald knocked Westfall into the cage. McDonald, the four-checker. Westfall up on the near wing. Clears it out to center. Salming beats Gillies to it. Back up the line, Brian Glennie. 10.30 remaining in the game. Pearson. Donnie gets control of the loose rubber and gives it over to Hart. He looks in the middle, trying to make the play. Bouncing puck up at center ice along the deer boards. And it's grabbed by Clark Gillies in his jersey. We're going to break in the action. 10-21 remaining here at the Nassau Coliseum. New York 4, Toronto 2. <laughs> by Tiger Williams. Pearson gets it back. Forced back deep in his own end to Hart. Up along the boards to Gillies. Toronto checking very close still. Trotre has some trouble controlling. Decides to clear it in. Running off to Salming. Salming now up to Lina McDonald. Shading the right wing into the attacking zone. The trailer is simply the quick shot taken in on Rush. He handles with a stick. Loose puck to the side of Rush. Here's Hart trying to clear around. The dasher he does up to Clark Gillies. Too far. Comes to center. And picked off at his own line by Boya Selming. Lanny McDonald, the threat number seven, works on the off wing against Stephen Pearson. Puck rolls behind Resch. The release comes up to the rookie Bossley, 22. He overskates it. Pop band comes up with it, trying to come out of traffic. Can't do it under some Toronto pressure. Bossley, though, works now with Gillies. And Pache. Bossley across the attacking zone. Tries to go rink wide to the streaking Bobby Bourne. The pass goes behind him. Tiger Williams takes a hit from Bobby Bourne. Trailing 4-2, 9-12 remaining at Santa Maria Salmon trying to feed Ian Turnbull. He overskates the puck. And Bobby Bourne with it. 
Bourne gets around. Sittler feeds to Trutcher. Give and go back to Bourne in the attacking zone. Boy, it's selling. Trips up Bobby Bourne, but the linesman says, or the official says, no call. You're going to have to take a head off before he calls a penalty the way this game is going, Frank. Here's Bourne now. Looks ahead. Trying to send in Nystrom. Nystrom on Pellick. Nystrom cuts to the slot. Still controls. Pellick finally gets a stick on it and fires over the Toronto bench. over the Maple Leafs and Ron Wicks simply doesn't seem to be calling any penalties and uh, there's a situation where boy Yasamin used the stick Vaughn went down and uh, Wicks didn't call it appear to be very happy to get that face off there but Wick says no and play continues we're going to find more and more of the uh, Maple Leaf strategy centering around Lanny McDonald boy is something and no doubt they're going to double team uh, McDonald they're going to use a lot of Sittler they're down four to two there's eight sixteen left in the hockey game and the Maple Leafs need the big guns now. They have not been getting much hockey out of their second and third liners. So the faceoff in deep Islander zone, 816 left, four to two Islanders over the Maple Leafs. Price behind the net for the Islanders, trying to get it out. West ball to Druin. The Leafs keep it in. Resch moves out of the net. Price was out of position. 8.02 left in the hockey game. The Islands is four. The Maple Leafs two. Face-off in deep Islander zone. Price behind the net. Looking for an opening. He finds Bourne. Westfall. Watch Westfall on the right. Watch Westfall. He's trying to get in there before the leap. He does. He centers it out. No Islander could get that centering pass. Nice move by Westfall. The Islanders do not want to go into a cocoon if they can help it. They want to take this two-goal lead and press the Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs are a good come-from-behind club. Howard, nice report checking. Here comes Valachetti. Cannot hold on to the pass. It goes to Price. Too hard. Hart moves it along the boards. He wanted to hit Howard with that pass. Went offside. 7.08 left. The Island is nursing a 4-2 lead. They have to be careful of Ron Ellis, number six. They have to watch the big guns. Jack Valaket can fire that puck. 7.08 left. Island is four. Maple Leafs two. Uh, Yank, Bob Bourne moves in at left wing. Druin taking the face off. Nystrom on the right side. The Island ascended into Maple Leaf zone. Salming, 21. He's rushed and gets off a bad pass. Hotman shoots. Marmatier was screened. He never saw it. Lewis along the board. Looked like Nystrom and uh, Palmatier might have been having a uh, little do there. Holy Chester. Uh, Stan Palmatier has been, uh, he, he's picking up, taking a, stealing a page there out of Billy Smith's book because he's, he's had to stick out a couple of times tonight. He, uh, a little earlier, he had a thing going with Eddie Westfall of all players. Well, he gave, prize, man. gave Westfall a stick just before this, uh, a little earlier in the period. Of course, Westfall has been bothering him with a couple of good shots. In fact, Eddie had that nice wrist shot from the left side. I thought he might have had that right corner, but Palmatier made a nice save. Eddie made a great move on Brian Glennie. He came down and gave him a little, little look to the outside and then cut on the inside for him, Stan. It was a great move. 
648 left. Islanders for Maple Leafs two. Sarming again. He's getting a lot of ice as usual. He's going to look for McDonald to Sittler. Here come the Leafs. Sarming to Sittler. To McDonald. He's got a good shot. You got to watch him. He tries to pass. Good cover up by Trache, but Trache cannot get it out. Lewis behind the board. The Leafs are forechecking very well. Williams going in there. really is called a very loose game in the third period, Holly, for both teams. Well, Stan, I think he just wants to let them play it out. Uh, I mean, it was it hasn't been that that smoothly played game. And we're going to see it again. There's Tiger going to the corner, and, and he does get tied up with Dave Lewis. Nothing to it. Wixie gets a little little joke. The fans are happy about that. Wixie's never been a big favorite here in the Coliseum, Sam, let's face it. Yes, I remember uh, one of the reasons why was a a playoff game with the Rangers, that first island of playoff. Yeah, it was the set a record. game of the playoff. Set a record. Most yeah. penalty minutes. He, Most minor he, penalty minutes. He sure. Earned the wrath of many Nassau fans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a game that will that will live in infamy around here. Fortunately, the next there was a, there was, there was a third. Oh, those two out of three. <laughs> those rubber matches. You love them. Okay. Uh, 619 left. Island is for Maple Leafs two. The Leafs get it. Sami shot. Oh, a good save by Resch. Sami got off that shot. Resch trapped it. Stan, I don't know if it was tipped, but it took about a, about a foot dip. We're going to get a chance to look at it. Westfall lose the draw, and he shoots. I think it was deflected by an Islander defenseman. It, it could have been Jerry Hart. I think Hardy got just a little piece of it. 616 left. Another faceoff deep file of the zone. The Leafs shoot. He scores! Like it was Dallas. Two face-offs, Stan. Two big face-offs. Second time was golden for him. Watch this. Watch Siddler on the draw. And Ellis, is, he's got a stick back. Just cocked, ready for it. And it's going to hit a post. I think it's going to hit far post. There it is. Left post right in. Time in the goal, 13 46. Ellis is 23rd of the season. Uh, Sittler, 13 Stanley's a lot of time six. left in this hockey game. Islanders can't afford to just go into a shell here. Sittler line now on the ice, and you got to watch him. They're using Valaket on left wing for a change. Harris gets it out. Howard to Hart. Islanders have to be careful, but not too careful. Hart to Pearson to Merritt. Howard trying to get that puck on the left side. Palmateer there before him. Merrick centers it out. Nobody there to get it. The Leafs coming back. Nice play by Billy Harris. Poke checking him. Merrick. He oh, a shot went over the net. Howard trying to keep it in. He rams Ron Ellis. Turnbull's got a good shot. He passes off to Valaket. Oh, a close one. Just cleared in time. Looked like Gress missed that. Howard at the blue line. Harris busting in. Harris shoots. Oh, it's deflected. A nice pass at Harris again. Centers. Shot. Good. Almost had it. Nice play by Druin. Leaps coming back. Sittler, the captain. He's with Valaket. He's coming over the line. He passes it to Valaket. Valaket can't get it. Hoffman clears. A lot of pressure on the Islanders now. Salming sends it right back in. Rest deflects it in the corner. Nystrom to Lewis. Lewis back to Potvin. Back to Lewis. Deliberately, the Islanders try to get it out, but the Leafs keep it in. Salming, excellent pressure by the Maple Leafs. They're checking well at the point. The Islanders get it out. Glenny this time puts it in the left corner. Potvin behind for the Islanders. Intercepted. Williams, oh, a shot by Lanny McDonald. Almost had the right corner. Good covering by Resch. Leafs putting on the pressure. Bourne takes a pass and Potvin on the left. He's busting in. He's, oh, he shoots it wide to the right. 
Hotman puts it in the corner. Vaughn trying to get that puck. Vaughn and Nystrom, Nystrom behind, Vaughn in front, Nystrom behind, Vaughn has it. Vaughn to Vaughn, to Hart, Hart shoots. A screenshot, Palmer there didn't see the puck. Geez, I think it deflected off Nystrom, he never even saw it. And nice was parked right in front, Dan. Palmateer was looking to the left. I think the puck went either went over, went over his right shoulder. Islanders worked it around very well, and they were actually kind of smart, Dan. If they gambled in tight, we're going to see it again. Oh, we're going to get a chance to look at that play in the Islanders' end. Watch Lenny McDonald get this and just turn and snap it. He's, he wasn't looking. He's just going to try and slip it under him. Good play. McDonald can get it off. He's got a great quick release, Stanley. He's got that little snapshot. And he was just gonna, he was just turning and snapping it right there. We got 3.37 left in this hockey game. The island is nursing a 4-3 lead. The Leafs have been putting on the pressure. Oh, that center. He puts it in the quarters. An offside called on the play. The Islanders do not want to be too cozy. They want to. Try to forecheck the Leafs as much as possible. Well, see, it is a good shot at Billy Harris. Played very well on the line with Wayne Merrick. They've had a lot of great chances tonight. Of course, Merrick popped in that third goal. That was the, that was the go-ahead goal, and that was a big one. And Harry set him up. Harris is a little bit steaming about this. Uh, they're not calling it. They're calling it offside, but they're taking the face off at center ice. And, uh, Harry didn't think that's fair. 3.33 left, the Islanders four, the Maple Leafs three, the Maple Leafs get it into deep Islanders zone, Hart going back, on the back end, he's trying to get it out, Harris fails to get it out, but Howard succeeds, and it's back to center ice, the Leafs coming back again, there's a shot, deflected, Boutet going around the net, Boutet for the Leaf. oh, a shot just wide, the Leafs putting on great pressure now, Trying to get that puck. Price, Price and Boutet. The Leafs putting on tremendous pressure. Rush covers up and there's a whistle. 257 left. The island is four. The Leafs three. Things get a little hairy in your own end of the ice. Uh, this is about 103 minutes left to go in the game. You're trying to protect that one goal lead. We're going to see it again. Now, Price is trying to tie up. I think it's Boutet. But he doesn't want to take the penalty. And he's behind him. He, Boutet has good position on him. Crazy just kind of slows him up a little bit. I, Wicks is going to call a penalty here, and now you got to be careful because if it's a good scoring opportunity, the referee has to make the call. Maple Leaf coach Roger Nielsen has the big guns out, 257 left. Stan, they got the, this, this face-off little duel right here. It's Sittler and Westfall, and that's, uh, that was the goal just a few minutes ago. Sittler's won a lot of face-offs tonight from the Islanders. That's one of the reasons Westfall has been taking them from Trache. The puck is dropped. Price backhands it and he gets it out, but it, it's waved off. No ice in. Sounding back for the Leafs. Trache in the corner to Gillies. Gillies tied up. Bossy taken out of the play by Sittler. Plenty for the Leafs. He's got McDonald and Sittler. They're moving in. There's a shot. Oh! Rush covers up in time. The Islanders break out, but a bad. Here come the lead. Two on one. A pass in front of the Oh, my rush. The lead's got a two on one. <laughs> Landon McDonald was going to take the shot, and I think that hesitation hurt him a little bit. This is a play before that. Now, Pat Price carries it out. Good play here, but his pass to Trotsky gets a little ahead. Leafs got a three on one. McDonald was going to shoot, but he realizes he's got the chance for the pass in the front. It's just in his skates. Rush makes the stop. He's down. He... So Harold Thompson is going to think about that one for a little while, Stan. He just he was trying to get the puck up. He knew Rush was going down. He had the pass in his skates a little bit, so he knew he, Chico was going to have to make a move. 218 left, four to three. Isle does the Leafs get the face off. Sarming in position, and Rush plucks that one. A good shot by Sarming, only about an inch and a half off the ice. Eddie Westfall is really hot, Stan, because Randy Metton, the linesman, has been dropping the puck. And I don't know what he's doing, whether he's bouncing it, but Siddler's just his owns Westfall, and Westfall's too sharp. But he turned around and he gave the linesman a little bit right there. 
a brief this is a, off the court now two thirds. Look at Westfall. He's, he's just, he can't believe it. He's finally getting waved. Now Trotsky's giving Mitten a little bit. Westfall is hot. Here we go. A face off. Lewis gets it for the Islanders behind the net. Up to Westfall. Westfall gets it out. Lewis put into the board. The Leafs clear it down the ice, and this looks like it's going to be an icing. Dennis Potvin touches it. 154 left. The face off in deep Maple Leaf zone. team that is pretty explosive when you have a, a, the offensive talent of an Ellison, Thompson, Sittler, and McDonald, and Fourier Salmon, the quarterback, and they, can, they can pick up a goal anytime. They're a very explosive hockey club. Okay, 154 left. Brian Trottier taking that face up. The line is Trottier at center. Gillies left. Eddie Westfall on the right side for defensive purposes. Dennis Potvin on right defense. Dave Lewis on the left. The Leafs move out. It's Saming on the right side at center. He backhands it into the corner. Dennis Potman going in there with Westfall. Westfall was charged by Williams. The Island is going to have to settle for the faceoff again in deep Islander zone. This time, 140 left, a 4-3 lead for the Islanders. Stan, you don't mind taking a faceoff in a play like this because they're just dumping it in. They're trying to force the Islanders into a mistake in their own end. Westfall just front kind of wisely tied it up. There's Jimmy Jones. He's a, you'd wonder why a checker, a, a guy who's a penalty killer, would be out in a situation like that. But he's doing the job he wanted, which is to tie it up, to get the face off, leaves end, get Sittler a little bit of a rest. He's back out there now. Tiger Williams, you got Salming, and you got Turnbull. Both point men, Turnbull and, and Salming, are shooters. They can put the puck in the net. And Sittler, of course, is having a great night, or a great third period in particular, on faceoffs. So, 140 left. The Island is nursing a 4-3 to three lead, the faceoff. Deep Islander zone. There's a scramble. Harris gets a piece of it. With Potvin, Potvin over the line. Potvin moves it behind. Right in front, Harris shoots. Oh, saved by Bobbitt on Harris. Harris has it again to Westfall. To Merrick. To Lewis. He shoots. It's blocked by Salming on defense. Islanders trying to pressure the Maple Leafs. Here comes Sarming. He's hit by Harris. The Leafs moving out now. Here they come. Tiger Williams sends it in. A minute left in the hockey game. The Islanders leading by one. A bad pass by Potvin. The Leafs have it. It's the centering. Potvin trying to move it out, and he gets it out. The Leafs net is open. Sarming at center for the Leafs. Sittler trying to move in. The net is empty. Oh, Russ gives it away, but the Leafs can't capitalize, and the faceoff is going to be in the corner. With 36 seconds left in the hockey game, the Leaf net is open. The faceoff in deep Islander zone. <laughs> this is just what separates the men from the boys, Stanley, right here. 36 seconds. Chico goes out of the net. He's least shaking his head because he didn't have a look before he left, and he, he didn't realize that there was a Leaf coming around, and it was Tiger Williams coming around, I think, the left-hand side. Either Williams or McDonald. And Chico almost put it right on his stick for into the empty net. We've had one of those already uh, earlier in the first period. There's Roger Nielsen, a heck of a coach. He's done a super job with this club. He's a good defensive coach. He was a, a heck of a junior coach. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that he's going to have a very long career in the National Hockey League as a coach, Stanley. I, I'm impressed with the way his club works. Pauly, the island is now uh, five skaters. The Maple Leafs have six. The Toronto net is open. Eddie Westfall is going to take that face off for the Islanders against Darryl Sittler, the Leaf captain. 36 seconds left. The Islanders for the Leaf three. McDonald is cheating on the face of over there. Which is going to have to be McDonald is he's just hoping that if Sittler doesn't get the draw, then at least the puck's right there and he'll just go after it and blast it. 
Carry out and made. There's a guy who saved, has saved a lot of goals this year, number eight for the Islanders stand. Howitt makes a, makes a play on Sittler as the puck comes across. Howitt didn't seem to uh, know for the moment whether he should try to golf it or not. Now you take the man in that situation. If, the, if, if Sittler had shot, well then you gotta go, you gotta try to block it. 24 seconds left. The Islanders for the Maple Leaf three. Another face off and deep island is on. Again, West Ball against Sittler. The puck is dropped, it goes to the Leafs. McDonald moves it behind the net. Dennis Parkman in the corner, he tries to get it out. Tommy gets it, it's blocked. The Leafs come in close, a shot over the net. McDonald behind, it's taken by Malik. He uh, tries to get it out, he can't get it out. The Leafs still pressing a tremendous amount of pressure. The Islanders can't seem to get that. Four seconds, Dan, and the Leafs got away with a couple of plays right there. A hand pass that should have been called, but Wicks just let that one go. Paulie Merrick seemed to take his time. He was looking well, for an opening. He lifted the puck, but he couldn't find the opening. And so with four seconds left, the Islanders are very, very close, but you can get a shot off with four seconds oh, left. So the face-off is so important. It's a long four seconds, Dan. I, I think Wayne was just trying to do what I think he was just trying to flip it out into the zone. You don't want to ice it, of course, because then you're gonna give him another chance for a face-off down here. If he gets it out into center ice, get a little chance to regroup, stand up at the blue line and block and force him from coming in. So the face-off between Westfall and Sittler again, the crowd chanting Eddie, and that's for Eddie Westfall. This is crash and bang time. Everybody goes to the net. The puck tries to go back to McDonald, who's the lone man back there, and he's just going to blast it. Everybody goes to the net and just try to carry it in with him if they have to. Here we go. Four seconds left. Westfall against Sittler. The puck is dropped as a scramble it goes to the valley shoot. It's blocked. A little weak need, but they hung on, and that's what that's what it's all about, Stanley. Three to one as the Whalers come out of their own zone. The play broken up. Trache gave it to Popan. Popan past the blue line. The Islander captain looks for some help. 